Hello everyone, I have some real footage of Venus made last 28th September. When I realized it was flat, the first thing I went to look for was the Venus transit from NASA SDO at the NASA site. And uh, it was shocking to see that Venus was a black transparent disk. Then made a search for real photos of Venus and all I got was fake CGI images or paintings. All fake. Nothing is real from Venus. Then I realized what he meant by we lie about everything. I was talking with a gentleman from Belcon and, and we were discussing uh, the lie. Everything he was telling me was different from what we were being told uh, was the truth. And at one point I asked him, I said, man, you guys, you, you lied about a lot, didn't you? And instantly he said, no, we didn't lie about certain things. We lied about everything. None of it was true. So we lied about everything. None of it was true. This was what we were supposed to be to see. But what we will see in my footage is why Venus is transparent. Venus is important uh, in the Eurocentric model because it's with this transit and some bogus mathematic model that they made a calculation of the Earth's and distance. But if Venus is not a planet, then all this theory goes in the shredder. Uh, from the European Space Agency, we have this absolutely clearly fake video with a jumping across the whole place Venus from S uh, NASA SDO uh, we can see it's transparent with no doubts at all uh, I've set uh, some slow motion so you could see it better it doesn't matter in what wavelength uh, we see it's always transparent Venus is not a planet. Planets are not transparent. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, NASA. Yeah, yeah. Well, sorry about that also, you know, old globe heads. Yeah, for me it was shocking to see all these and realize that we have I have been light for almost fifty years. Uh, was a bit sad. Took me a couple of weeks to get over and start reacting. That's why I'm making now this video. Venus was really the trigger. So, what we will say about Venus? <coughs> Fake world. Now this is uh, the footage I have made. Was quarter to six in the morning, something like that, and uh, I was getting uh, everything set uh, to go on to some footage uh, of the moon eclipse, but it was a bit early, so I was start shooting at things on the on the sky, and uh, the first thing, so let's, let's have a look at Venus, it was a bit like surprise. <laughs> when I had all these strange emotions and uh, amazingly you can see the, the blue sky behind Venus so this tells us that Venus is not as far as they say we can see the blue sky behind uh, when that's the, the most intricate patterns or this kind of wave behavior you can see clearly the blue behind I've been a couple hours just watching it like mesmerized you see oh my god what the hell is that what can it be why is it behaving like this some kind of electromagnetic disturbance, I don't know, it's just odd. It's so odd that, uh, you know, after seeing it, the only thing you can conclude is that it's not the planet. Planets don't have this kind of behavior, you know. Yeah. 
the tripod was not that brilliant so was jumping a bit and I was trying to keep focus on it as it was uh, moving on the sky. I really like this part, it's awesome. Looks like a mix of magnet, electromagnetic force with sound wave, I don't know, it's just amazing. And you can see it's uh, Venus because I, I will lose the focus and I'll have to zoom out. And then you can see the my window. And then I'll zoom again, and uh, it will keep doing this kind of same motions. It was amazing because. <coughs> uh, I've been filming Venus since then uh, as many times as I can and it was only that day that, they, that Venus has had this kind of behavior. Uh, been very quiet since then. See here is when I zoom in. That's my window. I will zoom in. Venus, so you can see it's clearly Venus and not something else. Uh, the only time I could do this kind of footage of Venus was on the day of the eclipse. I don't know if it's related or not. What I know is uh, it was only that day that was had this kind of strange behavior. After that, you know, just just some kind of light in the sky, nothing else. Uh, that's why. I postponed it quite uh, for almost a month to post this video and talk a bit about. I will keep doing till I have some kind of <laughs> the same thing again. It's probably it's one of these things like Crow when he got this lunar wave the first time. No one have uh, seen the lunar wave. Probably this is some kind of the Venus waves. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your time. Uh, I'll come back soon with some more cool video. Okay. Bye bye.